hardline. What we have is a network of cops, military contractors, and border patrol. By paying us, you get access to that network. If we get this phone into one of those briefcases, we can track it. You want to steal Dawes' dirty money before it gets laundered. Sounds fun, actually, but you're on your own. Yeah, the whacked Kang might be an old friend of mine. <laughs> you started? Figured you could probably use a hand back here. <laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused $3 million worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this! Bam! What is that? What Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, uh, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. Or do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. <laughs> Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. But no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Good, Mr. Nick. <laughs> you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. Uh, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your dad? Is he still carrying that fucking book? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. Alright, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well we could Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. ...kidnap me, my dad said, <sighs> which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess? Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <sighs> Dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL Team 6. Due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, 
He founded a community of like-minded patriots. Huh. Patriots? Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Well, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, that's the least I can do. And you must be Nick? Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby. So sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. I have relatively good news. Really? Where'd you get that? Dune gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune? Who just set us up? Dune? Who set you up? She's, uh... She's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right. Stay behind me. Okay, yeah, go ahead. decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. Got another one. This way. In college class, I There's gotta be an escape hatch here somewhere. Here. 
20 rounds you got? Not many. Okay, come on, let's find that escape hatch. Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh, man, way too many cops around here lately. Yeah, well, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out Freeze. the prison a couple days ago. <clears throat> so who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't know. He found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit, man, I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, I give them anything to drink. What the fuck? Don't move! I get it! Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. There's a ladder. That's the way out. Yeah. Come on. All right. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here. Look, if Stada gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. All right, so how you gonna take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Unfortunately. Let's just go. Come on. Ooh, get this black man killed. I feel it. Nick. Try to reach Doom. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Not out here.
that thing? Mm, nah, just gonna skin it. Ain't that kind of a waste? What am I, fucking Choctaw? Circle of life. Right where you walk. Right where you, you got it. All right, brother, you just take it nice and easy.
Time to get out of here. Everyone okay? Dude's been hit! That shot in the arm. Yeah, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed a lot.
That's all of them. I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kind of hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah, you seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Tony. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's a wang. Check out that burnt out house before we go. That fire looks kind of recent. I told you dudes good people. Her dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Not if we leave first. It's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did dude mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Yo, that's it. The old airfield. Keep going. Airfield's just ahead. My dad was a cop, too. For real? But not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, well, so what? You, you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why I became a cop. A real cop. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that didn't work out. Well, it turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. Oh, shit. Umar. Tony's guys are already here. Uh uh, do you see, like, a, uh, uh, a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't sneak in? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think I got an idea. It might be a little loud. Can't do this for 
got the brute. Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. Ah, ah, ah. 